Hello and welcome. I'm Vincent McCory and this is Africa 54. U.S. President Obama lands in South Africa tonight. The second leg of his three-country tour of Africa, the failing health of Nelson Mandela, has somewhat overshadowed Mr. Obama's visit. But he and President Zuma plan to stick to the business at hand. And now uh, we go to Anita Powell in South Africa, who is following the latest development from Johannesburg. Welcome, Anita. This is only Mr. Obama's second trip to Sub-Saharan Africa, after he made a brief stop in 2009 in the West African nation of Ghana. There, he spoke about the importance of democracy. This time, his focus is different. The president is expected to talk about economic growth, among other issues, with officials in Africa's economic powerhouse, South Africa. Trade between South Africa and the U.S. totaled $22 billion in 2011, according to the U.S. government. South Africa is a major destination for international brands and also has its own burgeoning industries. South Africa also benefits from duty-free import status to America, which has allowed the nation to export high-value items such as cars. South Africa has also made its own move to boost trade by becoming the newest member of BRICS, a group of emerging economies comprising Brazil, Russia, India, and China. The U.S. consulate in Johannesburg has placed itself squarely in the middle of the bustling Santon business district, home of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Senior Commercial Officer Larry Ferris says trade between Africa and the U.S. is growing and changing. The interesting thing is, is it's gone from being just primarily a focus on import of, of, uh, of raw materials and of primary products to be one that, that, that shows a lot more diversity and a lot more interest in uh, looking at both a trade in, in into the U.S. and into South Africa in areas that are uh, represent higher value, represent technology, represent a lot of where the growth in the international markets are. Officials could not say what sort of deals Mr. Obama may sign while in Africa, but Ferris says the engines of business are churning on the continent. I think there's a, there's a lot of excitement about some of the things that are going on in eastern Africa right now where a number of the countries there have, have come together uh, working on free trade agreements, working on increasing uh, connections between their countries, infrastructure and the like, and all of that is really good for business. At the same time, there's a real focus in that part of the, of the continent on making a really solid business um, environment. Whatever happens during Mr. Obama's visit, one thing is sure. This continent is open for business. Well, thanks a lot, Anita. Now, Anita Powell is on the line from Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to Africa 54, Anita. Thanks. Now, the president is arriving uh, hopefully shortly in South Africa, but uh, during the day, there was excitement on the streets of South African cities, particularly Pretoria. Tell us what was that all about? So about 1,000 protesters, including trade unionists, um, Muslim advocates, and communists uh, marched to the embassy in Pretoria. Um, they burned some flags. They protested uh, the, the president's foreign policy, some of his military decisions. But it was, it was a peaceful protest. Nobody was hurt. Yes, uh, but all the same, we know that uh, business will go on as usual as of now. Uh, give us a sense of uh, the mood there. We, we know that uh, uh, people are in a kind of a somber mood because of the situation with Nelson Mandela. Right. People's enthusiasm for Barack Obama's visit is very much dampened by the situation with Nelson Mandela. The latest we have from his, his ex-wife and also from ANC officials is that he remains in critical condition in a hospital in Pretoria. Some are wondering, will the president get to meet uh, or to visit uh, President Mandela? So I asked the presidential spokesman this very question. And he said it's still between the Mandela family and the, the Obama camp. And so he couldn't answer, but he did say, as, as far as he was aware, that hadn't been arranged yet. Barack Obama has also said that while he would like to meet Nelson Mandela, he's going to leave it to the family. So it's really in their court now. Well, thanks a lot, Anita, for giving us those updates. Anita Powell, Voice of America in South Africa. Now